Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The reason why I'm doing this video in the dark is as a protest for the possible passing of SOPA, PIPA, or ACTA. Uh, the reason for this video in particular is to talk about upgrading from 32-bit Windows to 64-bit Windows. Now, at some point in the future, it's not even going to be an option. And that's a good thing. I mean, we've moved from an era of 32-bit computing to 64-bit computing. Now, that doesn't mean that having a 64-bit operating system, as we mentioned in another video and article on LockerGnome.com last week, is going to make your computer faster. However, if you have applications that can better take advantage of a 64-bit architecture, the applications like, um, okay, uh, video editor, you know, it needs access to more memory, uh, and you, you, you need to ad address that. And the computer can better address that if it's 64-bit compatible hardware and a 64-bit operating system. You can run a 32-bit operating system on 64-bit compatible hardware, but for full, optimiz full optimization, boy, I don't, was that word? That was almost a 32-bit word, and I was trying to squeeze it just in, in a 16-bit mouth. From a two-bit loser. That's all these bits flying around. I tell you what. So uh, we've done an article outlining, you know, why you would want to upgrade from 32-bit to 64-bit potentially. But this one in particular, with this particular video, I said particular twice in the same sentence. You know what? If anybody ever went back and transcribed my videos, I would sound like an idiot. As opposed to deposed, I said deposed. <laughs> Mm. My girlfriend walks into the room, throws me off, but she's so beautiful. She oh. throws me off balance here. <sighs> I'm breaking a sweat. Actually, I think it's because the, the CPU over here is heating up and the fan's kind of kicking in and, and the green tea. And So uh, the article, in case you hadn't already noticed in the description for this video, is aptly titled, How Not to Upgrade from 32-Bit Windows to 64-Bit Windows, specifically the Windows 7 flavor of Windows, which is a very tasty flavor, a really kind of a... Uh, a spumoni uh, type of flavor as opposed to Vista, which is more like black licorice and dirt uh, flavor. Don't even want to... Huh. How's that for a taste in your mouth? So if you are on a 32-bit version of Windows 7 and you're looking to upgrade to 64-bit uh, Windows 7, assumedly, uh, you want to take a look at some caveats. And we've outlined them for you rather clearly, including potential problems and hurdles. And the one thing you've, you've got to keep in mind more than anything when you're making the leap, uh, and we go in, as I said, into great detail on this particular topic on the article on LockerGnome.com. Check it out. In fact, while, I, while I'm thinking about it, while I pull it up, I'm going to go ahead and plus one it, tweet it, and like it on Facebook as well. Uh, one of the things you've got to keep in mind, uh, drivers may not work the same. Uh, so make sure that all your hardware will work on 64-bit uh, Windows with Few flaws, if any flaws at all. For the most part, I'd say you'd be okay. Another thing to keep in mind, uh, you know all those browser extensions that you may have installed that you haven't upgraded in a while? Uh, they may not work anymore, or they may not work as well as they used to. Don't upgrade thinking you're going to get a speed boost. This is now the second time I would mention it in the video. Uh, that's not why you would upgrade. You would upgrade to get potential better performance in specific applications that were developed with 64-bit operating systems in mind, in this case, Windows 7. Uh, but there are things you got to watch out for. It's, it's a potential minefield that we can help you, well, you know, navigate. And so your upgrade from Windows 7 32-bit to Windows 7 64-bit uh, should be a happier one. And if you don't already know which one you're happening to... Uh, be running right now, a quick way to check is just to look at the system properties. It'll tell you outright. Pretty easy to know uh, one way or another whether you're already on 64-bit. And you know what? If it ain't broke, I say don't fix it. Be careful. Always back up. Read the article. We go into even more caveats to make that upgrade a good one for you.